Thomas Root says, I look for inspiration in the humanistic tradition of classical art. My canvases express the entire spectrum of human emotions, from exhilaration and cheerfulness to contentment, melancholy, pain, and agony. Born in Warsaw, Poland, son of an Olympic athlete and artist mother, Thomas Root began his artistic journey at an early age. Possessing prodigious talent, he was subjected to intensive classical training and received his master's degree in art conservation. This would prove to be an essential to his career as an artist and is readily apparent today in his unique approach to the surfaces and textures of his paintings. Ruse also possesses an extraordinary understanding of the history of art, its styles, canons, techniques, and media, from which he continually mines to create his art. Many artists have attempted to fill an existing void in the art world today for a monumental painting style that embraces the rigorous disciplines of the past and also resonates with contemporary viewers. Root has succeeded where so many have not by finding his own method of developing a personal repertoire of imagery containing figures and symbols that transcend any sense of time. Inspired by the mythology of the Greeks and Romans and the masters of the past like Michelangelo and Rubens, the content of Root's work is at once dreamlike and yet incredibly tangible. Like Caravaggio, who melded the sublime and the real, Root seeks not to portray mythology as reality, but he transforms his subjects into sensuous modern themes that are timeless and completely contemporary. These paintings are him all by himself, all alone, won't let anybody in, won't let anybody touch him. But the, the thing that I find marvelous about the paintings, really marvelous about the paintings, is this. This loving skill, this great technical skill. And they can find their own picture. Have you ever seen these pictures before? Ever seen anybody that looks like this before in the history of man? Once? You really haven't. If you want to start going into your memory banks and you want to start talking about Titian or Tintoretto, or Michelangelo, there's those, how could you sacrilegiously mention those names with this modern man? You can't do that. Well, of course you can, if you want to. It's not the point. They look nothing like them. But they evoke the same emotion in a 21st century version. And this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. You don't break in with us really easily. It, you don't do it. This was a major competition to get in. Lots and lots of big-time dealers were looking at this artist, wanted this artist. He's, been, he's, been, he's there already. That's how the price is. He's not a newcomer. This is not work that's been developed in the last year or two. He's been around. He's young. He's energetic. He's exciting. He's fun to work with. The Rob Report is looking for their, the question they posed, and they, they made it like a question. Who are the five most collectible artists in the world today? He was one of them. Interesting. Adoration of the human form is the hallmark of Root's unique ability to communicate artistically. Under his brush, the physical body emerges as a source of a deeply sensuous experience. Simultaneously, Root achieves a transcendent emotion through his use of the human form. To Root, the nudes he depicts are allegories for the ancient human condition that struggles for moral significance within the spiritual universe. <laughs> The winged angels of Thomas Root are multifaceted and always mysterious. They represent support, consolation, and assistance for their human subjects, but they may equally chastise or discipline. Root has removed his angels from the traditional depictions found in religious paintings and has given them personalities that are appropriate to our contemporary world. In their dramatic beauty and compelling interactions with their subjects, they force us to dwell on the struggle between good and evil, between the earthly and the transcendent. The struggle between good and evil is a powerful theme found in Root's art. 
and manifests itself in different subjects, including dynamic horses and powerful wrestlers. Root sees the human effort to tame the wild horse as a means of capturing the ongoing and universal struggle between the earthly and the spiritual planes. His wrestling figures, both male and female, move beyond a mere representation of the human form to become an allegory of emotional expression and the quest for higher meaning in the struggles of contemporary life. Root's romantic and sensual images of lovers epitomize the passion found in the eternal bonds of lovers. As they present the classical beauty found in ancient art, they also carry through the creations of a contemporary artist and his depictions of contemporary models an emotional significance that is applicable to modern relationships. Music serves as the perfect vehicle for Root's pursuit of a spiritual meaning in his art. The musician in his paintings represents both the sensorial and intangible spaces between the material and the spiritual worlds. In his art, music becomes the sublime source of creativity and inspiration. Dorothy Keene White, art curator and director for Northwood University, in commenting about Thomas Root, has said, Root's mural-sized paintings are contemporary conversions of the classical vocabulary variously continued by Michelangelo, Raphael, Titian, and Rubens. In making them, he returns to antiquity by double detour. First, he sets in motion the charming, unreal apparatus of the Quattrocento mise-en-scene, and more importantly, its heroic nudity, vigorous modeling, expressive anatomic structure, powerful movement and fascinating physiognomy tinged with sadness. His superhuman youths play once more on Arcadian pipes, a motif also reprised by Matisse. Alternatively, he offers us impossible, delicate, graceful females, still unravished brides of quietness, delimiting them with sylvan togas and braided tresses. Nor does he leave rearing steeds, which in the grand manner represent humanity's turbulent passions. My paintings give people the ability to learn, respond, and feel comfortable with the classics, Root says. This gives me enough satisfaction to keep working for a lifetime. Mm -hmm.